Hi everyone and welcome to another one of my tutorials. I'm going to show you today how to create watercolour typography in Illustrator. If you are more comfortable using Photoshop I will be showing you how to create in that in the coming weeks. So there are a few ways to do this and I'm going to show you two ways. Something to note about the watercolour image size you will be importing is to make sure it is a high resolution file and at least 2000 pixels long. If it is low resolution it will not look as good as you would like it to and may be very pixelated. As you can see when I click on this they will all type together and not separately like over here. This is important and method number one is when you have a single word or lines of text that were created as one to be together. So I come up to file and place and select the watercolour image and then click place. I'm just going to scale it down so it fits all the words. The next thing we need to do is send the watercolour image to the back and to do that I'm going to right click, choose arrange and then send to back. Next rubber band select everything, right click and select make clipping mask. You can still add text and it will still keep the watercolour effect. If you're not happy with the placement of the watercolour you could just click on the image, right click and select release clipping mask. Then from here you could just move the watercolour around and scale it as large or small as you like and then rubber band select everything again right click and select make clipping mask. So method two is for when you have different fonts or scales and the text is not together and you did not type the text at the same time. So in this case I've used two different fonts. In order to create topography here there are two ways to do this. The first way is to treat them as separate items so you do exactly the same steps as method one for each of the words. Sometimes this looks good and works well when you're not too concerned about the placement of the watercolour but if the text is going to be close together you may want to have the image consistent over all the text. So to do that I'm going to be converting the text into a shape. But before I do that I'm going to rubber band select everything and on my keyboard select command C or control C on a PC and then command V or control V on a PC to paste. Now the reason why I have pasted this and I'll put it to the side is because once I convert this into a shape you can no longer make any changes. So if you make a mistake and you're not happy with it you can start again by just simply copy and pasting this back into this location. So now I'm going to rubber band select everything, right click and select create outlines. Now as you can just make out these are all individual shapes. And I know that because when I select the R and move it away, it's its own shape. I want to join all the shapes together. So again, I'm going to rubber band select. I'm going to come up to Window and Pathfinder to bring up my Pathfinder tool. And from here, I'm going to click the first one, which will now put all the shapes together. And if I go and select the R like I did before, everything is connected together and the R doesn't move by itself. Next I'm going to need to make a compound path so Illustrator will know which text to select for the mask. So to do that rubber band select the text, go up to object, compound path and make. So now I just need to import my image so file, place, select the image Scale the size again to make sure it will fit over all the text. Right click on the watercolour image, go to arrange and centre back. And now all we need to do is rubber band select, right click again and make clipping mask. So there you have two ways to create watercolour typography in Illustrator. You could use this same method for any text or shape. You don't even have to use a watercolour image. 
you could use a texture such as canvas or gold foil or even glitter. Options are definitely endless. I really hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week.